Looking for a lip piercing that doesn't damage your teeth or gums? Let's talk about the vertical labret piercing. It goes vertically through the center of the lower lip and exits right below the lip, avoiding any contact with your teeth and gums. But if you have braces, wait until you get them off so you don't snag the jewelry on your braces. Anatomy matters. Your lip's thickness and your bite play a role. Your piercer will let you know if you can get it. Find a reputable piercer who knows their stuff. The vertical labret piercing is usually done with a 14 or 16 gauge needle. Your piercer will decide what gauge is best for you. Opt for high quality initial piercing jewelry like implant grade titanium for a smoother healing process. The piercer will use a long, curved barbell to accommodate swelling. Lips tend to swell more than other piercings, so be prepared. Like any piercing, it will hurt a bit, but it will be different for everyone. Most say it's about a 4 out of 10. Healing takes 6 to 8 weeks initially, but it can take up to 6 months for full healing. You will need to downsize to a shorter curved barbell after 3 or 4 weeks. Go to your piercer to get fit for the correct jewelry and to change it out. During healing, follow your piercer's aftercare instructions. Generally, clean it twice a day with saline spray. Don't touch it for any reason. This includes kissing or oral play. Avoid foods that can irritate your piercing like spicy foods, acidic, or hot drinks. Stay away from pools and beaches to avoid getting an infection. Your lips will get chapped, but don't use chapstick or anything else on your lips, including lipstick. The best thing to do is stay hydrated and let your piercing heal. Once your piercing heals, head to bodyartforms.com to explore our curved barbell selections. For easier shopping, remember to ask your piercer what gauge and length you are. If you see any issues with your piercing, talk to your piercer or doctor.